man accused of shooting and killing two Walmart workers and injuring a South Haven police officer in July is headed back to Mississippi to face charges. That's right. This morning, 39-year-old Martez Abram waived extradition, meaning he will be transferred from the Shelby County Jail where he had been treated after being shot by South Haven police. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live at the Shelby County Justice Center downtown. Brad. Kelsey and John, after weeks of delays and rescheduling court dates, Martez Abram is now heading back officially to South Haven, Mississippi, a month and a half after that crime, which drew national attention. Now, this is Martez Abram walking into the Shelby County courtroom this morning after being hospitalized for weeks inside the Shelby County Jail. After Abram agreed to waive extradition back to Mississippi, Judge Louis Montesi dismissed his fugitive warrant. Abram was shot July 30th after authorities in South Haven, Mississippi, Mississippi said he shot two of his Walmart managers who were Abram's co-workers, Anthony Brown and Brandon Gales. Investigators said Abram had recently been suspended from his Walmart job for showing a knife when he went to the store that July morning and opened fire. The shooting killed his two Walmart workers and injured a South Haven police officer who was wearing a bulletproof vest. Now, it was unclear this hour when Abram's court proceedings in DeSoto County, Mississippi will begin. This afternoon, we're scheduled to speak with the South Haven police chief, the get his reaction now that Martez Abram has waived Mississippi and is heading back to Magnolia State to face those charges. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.